we are here waiting for the start of the Grand Prix, the Formula One Grand Prix of Monaco today. So it's a very big time, very big day for Monaco. It's a very big day for Monaco Telecom. For us, the Grand Prix is the most stressful uh, event during the year. It's when we have a lot of customers at the same time coming from anywhere in the world. We also have the, the, the Grand Prix teams asking us a lot of services. We, so we have to ensure that we are able to, uh, to afford all those, uh, those needs, especially on mobile. And that's where our partnership with Huawei demonstrated this year how, how strong the new network helped us to guarantee this customer experience during this, uh, this event, this international event. Our objective here is to provide the best service and best network for the people here in Monaco. So the, the challenges are uh, diverse. I mean, the first one is you, you never know how many people you will have on the Principality during a Grand Prix. Uh, normally we're at around 30,000 30, people, you know, active on the network. And during the Grand Prix it goes up to 52,000, 55,000. So it it's really raises expectations. And also it concentrates the people on, um, you know, a limited number of cells, which all creates a lot of congestion uh, locally on the harbour mainly. Um, in, terms of, uh, in terms of challenges as well, you never know what the traffic will be. You, we do forecast every year. We generally we think that the traffic will double on the, on the downlink every year, but we very often were surprised. So it's very difficult to anticipate and actually you don't really know what can happen, which makes it a very challenging time because it's difficult to forecast. Monaco Telecom has a special network that covers all the different scenarios due to its unique scenery the sea, the hilly landscape, the tunnels, and the very dense high buildings. In addition to that, the Formula One GP event brings the world's highest traffic with a special user behavior. This unique scenery and increased traffic make radio network planning very complex, so we deploy special solutions like Cloud BDU with remote sectors to enhance the coverage on the in-building. In this kind of project, what is really important is to make sure to work very early together, uh, meaning that we have to align our, what are the expectations and the teams have worked really well in sharing the information and the experience we had on both uh, sides, you know, Monaco Telecom and Huawei. Huawei Key Event Assurance includes three phases. First, in the preparation phase, we did traffic forecast, resource optimization, network pre-check, technical operation and communication procedures. Second, during this Formula One five-day event, we provided 24-7 real-time network monitoring. A team of 10 Huawei experts monitored the network locally with the remote support of R&D, Huawei Paris team and Romania JTAC to ensure the success of this project. Finally, after the event, we applied the initial setting of the network configuration provide the report to the customer and transfer the skills to the customers. It went perfectly well. Uh, if you look at the stats and, and the KPI that we've been uh, monitoring, uh, it's if they were exactly as if there were no Grand Prix, like it was a normal day when the traffic was doubled, when the number of subscribers doubled, so it was very, very impressive in terms of performance. We chose Huawei for mainly three reasons. The first reason being that uh, they had prepared uh, in pre-sales, they had prepared the, uh, the project in a, in a very, very good way. 
and so we were confident that they could do it. Uh, the second reason was uh, because of their road mining, in particular on IBS solutions, uh, that is uh, really fitting the kind of uh, issues we are facing here in this uh, in this uh, very difficult uh, area to cover, and uh, and so the the necessity to use uh, IBS solutions to uh, to have a good coverage. And the third reason because it was because of the partnership, we've been able to find ways to work on a lot of different topics, and so it's. Uh, uh, it's an important partnership for us in the future. The project has been uh, well managed with, with, uh, with Huawei. I think both teams share the same kind of uh, passion for, for what they're doing and, uh, and this has been uh, done in a, in a very short time but with very high quality standards. So there's a big mobilization of Monaco Telecom teams and also of Huawei teams here to make it a success.